people that think that they could just connect to Hashem and ignore the Chachamim, just like listen to them when they want, not listen to them when they don't want, they have no idea what they're talking about. There is no such thing as an intermediary in Judaism, but Chachamim are not intermediaries. Chachamim are simply telling you what Hashem said. Because you don't know what He said. Because you did not toil over the Torah for all of the decades that they had. You cannot interpret the Torah like they can. And that's the reality. If you think you can, then ego is your problem. Because HaKadosh Baruch Hu is willing to change nature for the Chachamim. He's not necessarily willing to change nature for some average Joe. Because those Chachamim, they're his representatives. They're the ones that he relies on to give the message to the rest of us. And they're, they, they're such favor in his eye. He loves the Chachamim so much that he literally changes the world for them. They say something, he fulfills it. And this is one of the most valuable things that a person needs to know when they're asking a Talmud Chacham, someone that has Yilat Shamaim, or perhaps a Gadol, they're asking a question, and the response that they got doesn't sit well with them. Take that opinion of yours that tells you this response doesn't sit well with you. Take it, crumble it inside a little piece of paper, put some oil on it, cooking oil or the oil from the car, whichever one you prefer, whatever is, whatever is faster access, then take a match, perhaps maybe a lighter, depending on your preference, put them in a bucket so it doesn't cause a big fire, and burn that opinion of yours. Burn it as soon as possible. Why? Your opinion doesn't matter. If you asked a Chacham a question and he gave you an answer according to the Torah, you do it just like as if God said to do it. Why? Because now that you've asked a question and he gave you an answer, HaKadosh Baruch Hu paskins like him. I'll give you an example. Somebody came to Rav Kanievsky. He said, Kvod Rav, I'm about to retire in some months and I was wondering whether I should take all my pension money and buy a house in this certain, such and such community. Rav Kanievsky says to him, come back to me when you have the money. Now Rav Kanievsky is not much of words. He doesn't, he doesn't have conversations with people. He you know, says a few things, finish, next. The guy gets up, confused, more confused than he was before. He says, why is Rav Kanievsky telling me come back when I have the money? Is he really telling me that I'm not going to get the money? That after 30, 40 years of working for this company, they're really not going to give me my pension? The whole thing is a fraud. I'm going to lose everything. What's going to happen? I don't know. Why did he say it? Oh, so for the next several months, he doesn't know where to go. doesn't know what to do. He can't wait to get this money, but he doesn't have access to it yet. After several months, finally he retires, and he gets the money. He comes back to Rav Kanievsky. He says, ah, Kvod Rav, Baruch Hashem, I got the money. So Rav Kanievsky says, good, you should buy the house. He said, but why couldn't the Kvod Rav tell me Six months ago. So Rav Kanievsky says to him, six months ago, it was a hypothetical question because you didn't have the money in your hand. So I didn't have the siyat dishmaya, the special assistance from heaven, to tell you the right answer. I only had my opinion. But now that it's a question that's actual, because you have the money in hand, you ask me a question, I'm giving you an answer, and I'm relying on the fact that Hashem is the one that's putting the words in my mouth for your sake. Because now it's an actual question. It's a realistic question. It's a question of right now. It's not a hypothetical question anymore. So now I have the answer for you. Six months ago, I didn't have an answer for you. Now I have an answer for you. You ask a Rav something, it's a real question, he give you an answer, you don't like the answer, that's too bad. Why? If you are not going to listen to the answers, don't ask questions. Don't ask questions. And this is one of the things that hurts a lot of people. Because they look for Rabbi Noach. You know what Rabbi Noach is, right? You guys ever hear Rabbi Noach? 
Noach is not only Noach from the, from the Torah. Noach also means comfort. So they're looking for the rabbi that is going to give them the most comfort. Meaning, whatever is comfortable for you. So what did he say? Do it? No, that's not comfortable for me. What did he say? Maybe? That's not so comfortable for me. What did he say? No, do whatever you want. Oh, I like this guy. This guy is Gdolado. He told me I can do whatever I want. This guy is Tzadik, Kadosh. Give me a hand. Let me kiss it. Let me kiss it. Well, he told me I could do whatever I want. This is, uh, this is, this guy is like Noach. Noach. Rabbi Noach. Rabbi Noach. So that's the thing. You have to understand. Kadosh Baruch Hu loves the Chachamim. Loves the Chachamim. Because they invest their whole life. Invest their whole life for the sake of the Torah all day. And when a person understands that, he asks a question, he receives an answer, and he goes with it. Same thing with girls, obviously, same thing. B'Shem Hashem Nasev and Atzliach, we're very excited to offer you the new Bezat Hashem app 3.0. It's a newer, faster app, full of Torah, lots of Kedusha by uh, the Shurim that we do, myself, Rav Ephraim, Rav Chaim, uh, where you'll have uh, also newer features where you're able to use the app uh, while you're using other applications on your phone. You'll be able to share the, uh, the lectures directly from the app. You'll be able to donate online and support our cube and our Torah work that we're doing. And the most exciting feature is that you'll be able to actually ask questions directly on the app and get answers from the rabbis directly from the app. This is something unprecedented and Baruch Hashem will be able to offer it. Thank you again for all of your support. Check it out. Make sure you have the kosher Torah that uh, will re-energize your neshama each and every single day. Call to Bechavat Lachal.